with long hair. Oh wow. I feel like I got so used to wearing lashes because my friend Amanda showed me these lashes that look like lash extensions that stay on your eyelashes for five days. I've been wearing them. This is the first day without having them on and I feel like I look like I look like I'm my Taco Bell days before I would wear it. <laughs> feel naked on my face but anyways I'm on my way over to meet up with my friend Amanda she has an appointment today that I was supposed to take her to but I completely wrote everything wrong in my schedule and now I'm late to pick her up so she's going to go there herself and I'm gonna meet her there and then I'm gonna drive her around in case she's in too much pain but yeah that's what I'm doing today this is the first day that I'm out of quarantine according to the CDC this is the first day that I'm officially not contagious anymore because it's 10 days after my first symptoms so I'm really excited to finally be out and to finally like be with a different person other than my dog <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna see her today. I don't know what we're gonna do today, but we shall see. Alright, so I have been editing this clean my car with me plus car tour video since like last year. <laughs> there is so much footage. I took about two hours worth of footage, right? This is the car tour section right here where it's nice and clean and this is the clean with me section. I finally cut it down and it's cut down to 18 minutes. So right here and all this gap right here, it comes to almost exact one hour and 18 minutes. I cut out one hour exactly worth of footage. Like there was so much useless stuff in here because it was just a bunch of cleaning and I sifted through an hour's worth of it. I'm very proud of myself. Um, today, I'm kind of nervous, also excited, kind of nervous. So, for Christmas, my mom always asked me what I want, and I was like, All I want, I just want to get my hair done for Christmas. They gave me money, 
for hair. So I'm getting my hair done today. I'm going lighter and I get nervous because every single time I get my hair done, basically I hate change and so I'll hate my hair for like, even if I like my hair, I'll always hate my new hair for like the day I get it and the next day. And then after that I usually get used to my hair and then I end up liking it. But um, going a bit lighter, finally getting it cut because I haven't gotten a haircut since August 2020. I'm excited, nervous, but I need to remember that my hair has been feeling blah. It definitely needs a cut. This is the last time for a while with dark hair. This is all of my hair. Oh my God. I'm back and my hair is short as hell. And I know it looks cute, I do like it, but I wanted long hair. Um, okay, so I went and she was coloring it and it was started to look really good. Um, it started to look really good and then she told me I'm gonna trim this much because your ends are dead. And I said, okay. She asked me what I want for my haircut and I said I wanted, um, face framing layers and like little bangies here so for when I do like ponytails and stuff. And so she did and then she left to go and my hair is so short. And I told her, I usually don't stand up for myself, but I was like, today I'm gonna stand up for myself. And so I told her, I was like, um, this is way shorter. And she said no. Just kept saying no. And I was like, yes it is. And she just kept saying no. And I said, please don't lie to me. Um, I know my hair. And I was like, I know it's this long because I always put my hand behind my back and I twirl my hair when I'm nervous. And it's very far up now. It's like past, way up past my bra strap. And she said no. She just kept saying no. And so I went outside to cry because I was gonna have a panic attack because she kept lying to me and I went out to text my aunt who's a hairdresser and I told her what do I do and she's like you have a pic of it like before and so I showed her the picture of the before and then I took a picture of my hair and how it is now like <laughs> And she like exclamation pointed it. She was like, did you show her this? And I said, no, because I went outside to cry. <laughs> and um, so she was like, show her and you should not be paying that much for the color because she said it would be such and such amount for the color for that length specifically. And she cut off the majority of your hair coloring. So I was like, okay, so I went in and I showed her the picture. But she was like, I won't charge you for the haircut since you didn't like it. And I was like, I don't think I should be charged that much for the hair coloring either because you said it was for this length and I don't have this length anymore. She kept making excuses and she was like, I didn't cut that much, I didn't cut that much. And I said, yes, you did. So I showed her the picture, this one. And then she was like, I only cut this much. She kept doing this much. And I was like, even if you cut this much and I went this far out with my hands, I'm wearing the same outfit today that I was in that picture. I said, even if you cut this this much off and I held it up where my hair ended in the picture from last night with the same outfit with the same jeans so I could show her for reference it would still be to the middle of my back and she just said no she just kept saying no listen I do like my hair like this but I also freaking love long hair I liked my long hair a lot <laughs> and like maybe even like long to medium ish length hair but you know she asked if you want a U cut and I said sure because I like slight U shape when it's long hair but if it was gonna be this freaking short I would have asked for straight across hair um yeah I'm upset and I know people are gonna be like oh it's so healthy now like it looks so much more healthy I don't care I like long hair and she said for that length like we went into it thinking like oh for that length of hair you will be charged this much so I was under the impression, especially after she said, oh, you have a lot of dead ends, I'm gonna cut this much off. And then I would still have long hair and only have this much cut off. If she would have apologized instead of literally gaslighting me when I was legitimately showing her a picture taken less than 24 hours ago, I would have given her a tip if she just did not gaslight. 
the heck out of me. I was expecting to come out with long hair. That was not okay. You can do an ollie. In every oh. song, in every wrong. In every song, I know the truth. Speaking one way between me and you, and I'm far away. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thing there is to know, and of course she does. Just smile and hush, and in my eyes I fall asleep. Good morning, happy freaking Saturday. Um, yesterday was not fun, but today is going to be fun. I'm going to my friend Amanda's place. The family she's staying with is watching the fights. So we're gonna do that. But first, I'm just gonna get ready for the day and I think I'll just talk about what happened yesterday. So yeah, let's get ready. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup here. Okay, first I start off with my primer. So basically what happened, you know, I think what happened was a blessing in disguise because I was gonna keep my hair long and I was debating going shorter, but I was just like, I wanna be a long blonde haired girl for a little bit. Um, I showed her these two pictures for reference, and that's what I was going for. I just wanted to start off a little bit, like, ease my way into being more blonde. For those two reference photos, and she saw my hair on Instagram, she said, For that length, $375. $375 to color for that length, my length, that was down to here. And I said, that's reasonable, because when I've gotten my hair dyed like that before, it's been around $300, so I was like, $375, okay. And then now I'm taking this stuff. So anyways, I was like, okay, that's a reasonable amount for my length of hair, sure. And I also said I wanted a haircut. And by haircut, I meant like trim the bottoms, because they're really dead. And like, I wanted base framing layers, because I wanted bangs. I wanted cute little bangs to stick out of my ponytails and stuff. And it was going to be $45 for the haircut, so $375 plus 45 and I was gonna give her like a $20 tip. So I went into that okay with everything. She knew the reference photos. I knew she could get me to the blonde I wanted in one session. I went in there, everything was great. I got in there at 9 a.m. This girl took seven hours. I went in at nine, I left at four. And everyone who gets hair done knows that that is like an absurd amount of time, okay? I've gotten that type of hair done before and it hasn't ever taken more than three to four hours, right? So I told my friend Amanda, cause I was supposed to meet up with her, I was like, I'll be free to grocery shop with you by like 12 or one. And that's usually how it goes, right? So she said, okay, it's around 12 or one. I'm sitting in the sink. Like she did my bleach and stuff. I'm sitting in the seat from like 1130 to one and i texted amanda i was like i need a pee how long have i been sitting in this chair for i checked the timestamp, and i was like amanda i have been in this seat for an hour and a half she would okay she was toning my hair right but she kind of like another client came in and then she just left like she didn't say oh i'm gonna have you sitting here for this amount of time she just left and then she came back but to help an old lady wash her hair and she didn't even say anything to me she just walked away and i was like uh okay i don't know so i was sitting in the chair for a good while finally she put stuff in my hair then she has me sit under the dryer i'm like awesome i'm gonna dry my hair turns out it was a hair mask um because she bleached the heck out of my hair like super super blonde which i was like okay good because i want to go blonder which by the way i'm not blonder it's more brown than blonde and i was like i'm finally under the thing i think she's gonna dry my hair amanda's like great then she takes me back to the sink and amanda's like oh she probably gave you a hair mask and she washes it out she shampoos and then she sits me in the seat and then she starts to cut my hair right and she asks me she was like your hair is very dead i'm gonna cut this much off and i was like that is fine my hair was down to here and this much would have been to here. My hair would have been up to here versus down here. Totally fine with that because I wanted long hair. And I was like, yes, please get rid of the dead ends. And then she's like, what else do you want? And I said, face framing layers. I showed her a picture of Kaylee. I forget her name, but um, 
this is her. She was showing her hair, like the bangs. I was like, I want my bangs like that. Or it has the little ones. She didn't even cut the little, <sighs> Never mind. anyways. I said, I want the little ones like that. And she said, okay. She starts to cut my hair. The face framing layers get really, really short, like really, really thick and really, really short. And I'm like, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. It's fine. It's just shorter in the front. She's doing her thing and I was like, I'm gonna be okay. She's cutting, cutting, cutting. Can't see the back. She leaves to go help the other lady and she goes in the back for a bit. And I'm, I'm snapping Amanda the whole time. I was like, Amanda, look at how short. And I was like, please tell me that this is just the front layer. She's like, I'm sure it's just the front layers. She is blow drying the hair. The hair, when she's like blow drying it, it's like coming forward and it's so short. Way shorter than what I asked for. When the lady goes in the back, I take my hair forward and I freak out because my hair is now up to here. My hair used to be down to here and now my hair is up to here. She said she was gonna cut this much. She kept going like this. How many inches is this? Like three inches? Let's get a measuring tape. She said like this much. Yeah, three inches, three inches. You can't really see it on here. Around three inches. And I was like, I'm good with three inches. Please cut three inches because my hair is dead. Way more than three inches. My hair used to go down to here, right? Three inches would have been, my hair would have been to here. My hair was up to here. That is so much! Look, okay, my hair. Let's see how many things she cut. Because my hair was down to here. This lady cut 11 inches off my hair. Almost a foot. 11 and a half. I'll measure when I'm wearing my jeans in the actual outfit. I showed Amanda and she was like... She was trying to calm me down because I was freaking out. And I get to the thing and I was like, um, how much did you cut off of my hair? And she was like, oh, only a little, only a little bit. And she was like, it just looks short because of the front layers. And I was like, uh, I put my hair in a ponytail earlier though and it was pretty short. Cause like when she was in the back, I put it in a ponytail because in one of my last Instagram pictures, I had my hair in a ponytail and my ponytail came down to here. Now my ponytail up to here. I put my hair in a ponytail. She's like, no, 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 no. It's just, it's just the, it's just the front layers are short. And I was like, but wouldn't there still be length if it's long in the back? And she said, no, it's long in the back still. And I was like, okay. I was like, trust the process. She finishes the hair. She straightens it. She takes the mirror. She's like, I'll show you the back. I take the back. It's all the way up past my bra strap to where the top of where my tank top would be. And I was like, it is very short. She said, no. And I was like, yes, it's, it's much shorter. And she was like, no, it's not. I only cut this much off. She kept going this much. I only cut this much off. That is when the panic and anxiety set in. She left <laughs> to go help the other lady. The old lady came in after me. Keep in mind, I've been there since nine. And at this point, it was about like 2.33. And then she was like, okay, to the lady. She's like, I just need to blow dry her hair and finish cutting it. Cause she was gonna do little adjustments, make sure everything is even and then curl it. And then she went to go to me. But then she went to the old lady, finished up the old lady. So I was sitting in the chair for another like half hour to 45 minutes, just waiting for her to like finish this lady who came in after me and sent the lady on her way. So two clients came in after me and left before me. Anyways, so the whole time I'm waiting for the lady, I'm snapping Amanda and I'm like freaking out because like I just want her to finish my hair so I can assess how I feel. I was, ex I really liked the color. It was not as blonde as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna cry again, but I remember like looking up and I was like I like the color a lot but it's not long like I wanted like I wanted to come out of here with long lighter hair and I was really excited about it and like I kept looking in the mirror and that's like not what I got <sighs> sorry it's just so frustrating because I was like dude this is a lot of money and it's like not even what I asked for and I came in here expecting to come out with like long hair and it's not that way I can't cry right now because I'm doing the makeup and I know hair is such a silly thing to cry about, but it's like, dude, when you're spending that much money, I want it to come out right. And it's just like, I really liked my hair and I had this whole idea. I was like, I just wanted long blonde hair. And eventually I did want my hair to be shorter because I liked before when my hair was shorter and I was debating doing that, but that's not what I wanted. So anyway, she finished and the whole time I'm in the chair when she's like blow drying it and like finishing the cuts, making sure everything is even and then curling my hair, I'm like trying not to cry because I just know it's bad and not bad. Honestly, it looks cute, but it's not what I wanted. Like I didn't pay that much money for it to come out not how I asked. 
You know, in the beginning too, she had me sign a waiver. <laughs> She's like, please initial these. And it says, my hairdresser asked what I wanted beforehand, check. My hairdresser asked me to remove all jewelry to make sure it doesn't get ruined. And I was like, she didn't ask me that. I was like, do I need to take off my jewelry? She said, oh yes, take off your jewelry. And I was like, okay, took it off, then signed it. Good thing I read everything, but I was like, this is for the salon so that if people get their hair messed up, the client can come back and say, you messed up my hair because the waiver says, you checked in with your hairdresser and you and your hairdresser approved that it was good. I was like, this is bullshit. Anyways, so she finishes and I'm talking to Amanda. She's like, you need to say something. Like everyone says you need to say something and I never do because I'm shy and I don't like to cause any problems. But I was like, you know what? If I don't say anything, like all the other times before, I'll go home and cry because I didn't say anything. I'm still crying because she messed up my hair, but I'm also texting my aunt, Auntie Esther, because she's a hairdresser and I'm like, Auntie, this is the situation, what's going on? And I don't know what to do. So I'm texting Amanda, I'm texting Auntie Esther. And then when she finishes, I, I tell her, I was like, um, I really love the color a lot, but the hair is much shorter than we said. And she said, no, I only cut this much. She kept going this much. And I said, I saw strands on the floor that were at least this much. And she said, no, 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 that's the front layers. I was like, but please explain to me how my hair was down to here and now it's up to here. She said, no, it's not that short. She took a picture of my hair. She took a before picture and an after picture of standing normal and she was like, go like this so she tilts my hair back obviously that's gonna make my hair look longer and then she takes it from up here all of the pictures on her instagram are taken from like head level but she took mine from this level and had me tilt my hair back then she takes my picture and shows it to me she said see your hair is long and i was like no you had me tilt my hair back i was like when i'm nervous i go like this and i twirl my hair like when i'm nervous somewhere i, I like just go here and twirl my hair and I, I went there and I was like, now my hair is up to, I was like, my hair is up to here now. I can't do that normally. And she said, no, it's not short. And I said, please don't tell me that it's not short because I live with my hair. I've lived with my hair this length for about three years. And I know that I, muscle memory, I know that I go like this and I can feel my hair. And she kept saying no to me. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like, please, please just be honest with me. I told her, please be honest with me. How much hair did you cut? And she said, only this much. I, I, I started to have a little panic attack because like my hair was drastically shorter than what she said. And this lady was blatantly lying to me. She didn't want to admit that she had messed up my hair or gone way shorter than we had discussed. I went outside and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm going to have a panic attack. I'm gonna go outside, step outside and cry. I go outside, cry. She hasn't ever like showed any remorse or any bit of sorriness. She just didn't want to admit that she was wrong. I go outside, I'm crying. I'm DMing my auntie and she's a hairdresser and she's like did you show her a before picture and i was like no i was like this is what it looks like i showed her a picture that i took the night before wearing the same outfit that i was wearing that day my hair was down to like the top of my jeans right and now the hair was up to the top of my thing and auntie Esther just like exclamation pointed the second one because it was obviously way shorter she's like you need to tell her she should not be charging you 375 for the color yes she should have charged you that much for that length, like your original length, but obviously it's not that length anymore because she cut it off. If she was gonna cut it so short, she should have cut her hair, your hair first and then dyed it so she wouldn't use as much product. I was just like, yes, this all makes sense or whatever. And so she kind of told me what to say. I go in and I tell her what Auntie Esther told me I need to say. So I told her my hair is shorter and I don't think that I should pay that much for the color. I agree that you said 375 for that length. You should have blah, blah, blah. Told her what Auntie Esther said and she said no it's not that short and I said look at these pictures I took her to the mirror showed her the picture from last night this one I said my hair was down to here yes it's dead right but you said you cut this much off right I said how much did you cut off and she went like this and so I went like this with her hand and I took it I was like you see where my jeans are she said yeah I was like if you cut that much my hair would be up to here my hair would the bottom of my hair would be to here and I said even if you cut like instead of three inches even if you cut this much i went like this with my hair that's like how many inches that's about six inches right six inches i said even if you cut off this much my hair would still be to the bottom or the middle of my back like even if you cut six inches off which you cut more than that obviously but even if you cut six inches off it would still be to here still below my bra strap my hair the bottom of my hair is now above my bra strap to where the top of my tank top starts and she said no, it's not, it's not that short. And I said, are you looking in the mirror? 
At that point, I was getting so frustrated and I was like crying angry tears because I was showing her proof. A picture of it that I took less than 24 hours before where my hair was almost down to my butt. I'm showing her in the mirror that it goes up to here. And she's just saying no. And she said, fine, if you don't like the haircut, I won't charge you the $45. And I was like, you cut my hair. I'll, I'll pay for the haircut. Just, I don't want to pay for butt cracks length worth of hair coloring if it's all the way up to here now. And she said, I will take $45 off then. And I was like, I don't think so. And she kept arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing with me with tears in my eyes. I had never been so frustrated before. I'm trying not to cry again. Just because I paid her a hundred deposit the day before and she said, just give me 275 now. And she was begging the other person before the old lady. She was like, for this is 70. And then she said, okay, I'll Venmo you. And then she said, you're gonna give tip, right? You're gonna give tip, you're gonna give tip, right? And she kept pestering her about a tip so she was like okay i'll turn it to 90. this lady was like just spend me 275 so it's all together it was 375. so she i thought at first i did the math wrong i thought she took off a hundred dollars she only took off 45 for the haircut i had to pay 375 for all of that coloring just for a short amount of hair and everybody i told said that that is absolutely ridiculous so that happened. I walked out of there, cried in the car, vlogged while crying, went to Amanda's. Obviously, the hair looks cute, okay? I do like it, but first of all, it is not long blonde hair. Second, it's not as blonde as the pictures I asked for. So she went in saying, yes, I can do this. I came out with hair that looked nothing like my reference photos, not even any close to the same length. Just terrible, and you know, I just paid her the flat 275. If she had just been like, oh my gosh, it is a lot shorter, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to put you in this situation. You're just like, I'm really sorry I messed up. What can I do? I would have been like, it's okay. I was thinking about going shorter anyways. Thank you for apologizing. I would have given her her tip. I probably would have asked her to discount it a little bit because that is not, I shouldn't have paid that much for coloring for that hair. For the long ass hair, yes. For the short hair, no. I would have probably come back because I liked how she did the hair, but the fact that she didn't apologize and just kept blatantly lying to me. Like if anyone wants to know the definition of gaslighting, it is what that lady did yesterday. But anyways, that is the whole story. I'm really upset and I'm going to be on the hunt for another hairdresser in the OC area that can do my hair. Anyways, I've been talking for like 15 minutes now. I'm just gonna finish my makeup. Um, and yeah, but that's the story. My aunt said I should give that lady a review on Yelp. And I think I might. Not the type to do that, but I think I might. Anyways, gonna finish my makeup.